Hi, welcome to part four of this code lab on building a unicorn stack. And in the previous part, we had configured Postgres. And in this part, we're going to create an API. And so let's start by running the server. So we have Django running on port 8000 right here. Now, if we want to create an API, we need an app to host the API. So first we're going to take our core app and add it to the installed apps section. So the core app is over here and we need to add it to the settings.py to the installed app section. So we can go ahead and do that. Once we've done that, we can register the model, which was in core slash models, and we can register that in the admin.py. So let's go ahead and do that. We can just copy this and paste it in here to add it to the admin. So admin dot site dot register asset will register it to the admin. And now if we run the server again, we can go to the admin and have it appear there. So we log in with our credentials, which is admin and admin one, two, three, not the most secure. So here we have the assets in our admin. Now it's saying there's an error in the assets, so we're going to fix that soon uh, after this. But before we go to that step, let's go ahead and add Django REST framework. So to add Django REST framework, we're going to start the app. And so Let's open a new terminal and we're going to start an app called API. Now, before we start that, make sure that you're still inside the virtual environment and BIP is installed and all the packages are installed. So now we can go ahead and start the API app. Uh, we have to be in the unicorn stack folder so run python manage.py start app api and what that does is it creates this new app here called api so let's keep going we can add api to our installed app section so in our settings.py add api to our installed apps we have to run these migrations so let's check if there are any migrations that we need to make by running make migrations and it's created this core migration so if you look under migrations this is the migration it just created and we can run the migration using python manage.py migrate now that's done so now we can add our um, now that the migrations are done, we can actually go back to our admin and actually let's restart the server from the terminal because we just did those migrations and let's go back to admin, refresh and go here so we can see that the assets um, is now able to be populated. We can even add assets here. So let's add a NFT asset and we'll call it my nft and we'll call it nft asset for DeFi application and we'll call it my nft dash one we can save that so now we have this asset in in the database which is our sqlite database at this point so now we can go ahead and add rest framework now we already ran the Django REST framework um, command 
earlier but in order to double check that we can go to the Django REST framework uh, website and check if we have installed Django so pip install Django REST framework that's in our requirements.txt over here and we have markdown which is oh we don't have markdown here so we can go ahead and install markdown and what that does is we can freeze our requirements um, pip freeze requirements txt and that gives us the requirements in that unicorn stack folder so we have markdown now we have we have Django REST framework and we can go ahead and do Django filter so sorry paste it here and do the same step with pip freeze so that we have Django filter also in our requirements.txt now we can go ahead and add rest framework to our installed apps in the settings.py so if you go to our root settings.py we can go ahead and add rest framework there and don't forget the trailing comma there so now in our root urls.py we can point to the django rest framework so we can go ahead and go to root urls.py and add the Django REST framework URLs to it. Now this can also be done differently. Uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do it in two, di two different ways. So once we have the Django REST framework called from here, again, have the trailing comma there. And if we rerun this as such and it's complaining about the missing includes so let's add that and uh, rerun the server so what we get now is in our root we don't have the home landing page but if we go to slash api so that's not uh, showing up. So let's see how we can fix that. And in our root urls.py, we can fix it by pointing it to the API path. So let's go ahead and do that. We add a API path to the root URLs, and then we modify API urls.py. So API URL start PY doesn't exist right now, so we can go ahead and create one. And we can add the API URL start PY in here. Now just a quick explanation of this. This has two paths, the root path or the default path with no uh, path in that path uh, variable. So that's one and the other one is custom routes we'll implement custom routes uh, after this in custom routes we're going to the views and getting a custom routes uh, function but in the default way we're just adding the router which is the default router so let's go ahead and see what that does well we have to add the api views.py so let's go ahead and do that in api views.py we can add this whole section which we'll go over so this function is called get custom routes it returns a default object which is a dictionary and then in the other section uh, we have the JSON response imported so let's save that um, and in, an, in our api.serializers or api slash serializers, we have to add this. So let's create the api serial 
serializers.py. So we can add our serializers in here. And what this is doing is it's taking the asset serializer. Make sure you indent it correctly. So we have our class meta inside the API serializers. I should indent this in the block here so, so that it doesn't complain. Now we can go back to assets view dot, uh, views dot py or API views dot by and change it to include the rest framework serializer so if you go back to views and in this section we can add our view sets which is the django rest framework view sets the helpers the asset serializer that we uh, have in serializers which we just created and uh, here it's saying uh, expected uh, indentation. So let's indent that correctly. Save that and go back to views. We have to save this. And now that we have the serializers and the view sets, we should be able to, we have one more step. So we have to add the API URLs.py. And so let's go ahead and do that. Here we had the default path, but we need to add the default router. So let's wire it up the way it's done here. Just copy and paste this. And this gives us the default path to include the URLs, the API auth path to include the REST framework. And that should be all we need to wire up our API so we can run the server. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if we go to our slash API, we have this API appearing here and we can see that if you open our assets, it shows the asset that we added under the Django admin earlier. So this allows us to also do posts and add more um, APIs. So let's do that and uh, that's all for this part and see you in the next one.